Ready. Pencils down. Mm. Pencils down. Drop there it is. Drop Pencils. Bob. You <clears throat> drop it. Did. Ramble's over. Mm. There it is. Ramble 384 in the books. Later. Have a great Eddie. Always good seeing you. Bye. <laughs> always good seeing you, pal. Always good seeing you. Um, oh, nailed it. Nailed we it. did it. Now, now yep. this is the what again? What most people don't know, you probably the Rambler, Ramblers might affectionately call this uh, overtime ramble OT. Yeah, ramble but this OT. is really this is more of a ramble post game show where right. Eddie and, and eventually, I kind of... eventually, when we transition this to a, a, a Patreon podcast and we're right. charging everyone like $40, seventy five bucks, yes, seventy five bucks right. a month. That will come with the base subscription of just Ramble. And then for another right. $20 to move you up to the second tier, you'll get you this get Ramble this, post game show. So that's but what you would have had for your a 75. Month, you, just, you get pencils down. Right. And then once a week. Once a week. That's pretty. That's a deal. Could you, could you imagine that's the balls deal. thinking that wasn't robust enough? Could you imagine? Right. Could right. you imagine well, the gumption on someone going, oh, God, I don't know. That's uh, They're not ramblers. Worth... They don't have exactly. the stuff they're ramblers are made of. They're not real like no. we're real. They're not real like this is. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Look, all right, Cody's not here again. It's Oh, it sucks, man. It's it sucks. He's going to come back. Maybe it just is depends. He? Is he? If he? I don't know how bad he got slapped. That's what matters. Is how rough was he slapped? Maybe he needs some therapy to get over the slapping. He might the slapping he took at CPAC. It could have been rough yeah. on him. The slapping. Well, I know he he, he called that shot for the big T. Uh, the big T yeah. called it. He was going to win the Michigan primary by eighty percent, right. and, and he won it by thirty five. Thirty five. So I don't. Is that weird? Yeah. Like how? I don't know if anyone, maybe they are, but is anyone really talking about how, like, Trump isn't really running away with this when he only has one competitor? What? And he's practically the incumbent? Yeah, like, he was doing so much better the first time he, he yeah. you know, when he was up against Cruz and Rubio and all those losers. Yeah. No, but they like to better. talk about Biden using note cards. <laughs> That's right, oh, the, good, dude, they're gonna false, run out of so much shit that you know, I, you know, he's, you know, I, I don't know if you heard about this, but he has a bidet in the White House. Apparently, he needs, uh, he doesn't just wipe his ass. Is that the, the guy one, you want? The, the people on Twitter, like one guy, I think, fucking that Jesse Waters idiot on Fox was like, oh. does, does a grown man really have to have an ice cream cone? Like, what type of grown man goes to an ice cream shop and eats an ice? All cream the fucking cone? time, you fucking twat. <laughs> like, who the? That's f- the thing. That guy can't That's be present. He at. likes ice cream. Boy, he, he likes ice cream. Way to go, Jesse. Give what? me the guy Jesse... who got someone killed for storming the Capitol for no reason. Yeah, not me. Not, not the idiot who riled up a bunch of other idiots to go get killed over the fucking... Right. To go get arrested, all that shit. Jesse, Jesse Waters is like... Dude, that guy just screams little soft-ass rich kid, doesn't he? Is it like, the, is it that time slot? Because it was Tucker's time slot. Is it just it that time. time slot? I don't know. When you just go Maybe. in there, you have, like, you have to I don't be know. This... I think Jesse Waters has always been a soft-ass rich kid. I really think. You're telling me that guy just doesn't fold after one punch? Oh. Like, that dude is, like, that guy just doesn't fucking but Who would implode? win in a slap fight between Jesse Waters and Tucker Carlson? Who oh would win that God. slap fight? <laughs> Oh or would that God. just go on forever? It's for, well, it would. They would both do it, and then they would both call time forever, and regroup. <laughs> it would just be them two regrouping for an eternity, and like, oh, I'll eventually, all right, we're all gonna get back in this. Just, uh, oh. you know, that's that's what it would be. Jesus, what a twat. Um, you know what, Eddie? Three what? minutes. It's four minutes. Fucking do it. Do you the heard song. the song. You do heard it. the. Uh, imagine the intro. I can see why you think you belong to me. Everyone, I never tried to make you think. Let you see one thing for yourself. Now you're off with someone else and I'm alone. You see, I thought that I might keep you for my own. Everyone, Amy, what you want to do? I think I could stay with you for a while, maybe longer if I do. There we go. Mm. Boom. Um, mm. What a, are we really doing too much for the post game show? Are we really doing too much? Should we add a third tier to our eventual Patreon? I, and probably. 
Ramble post game overtime. Should we do a post game overtime? It's, it's been five minutes, and the content is uh, robust to say the robust. least. Robust, robust, robust. We shat mm. on the alt right. We shat on the far right. We shat on, and we sang. And we sang. I don't know. That's what a else. tier right there. That's a second there tier. It is. We sang. And then the that's third that, tier that's will like be 70 this. Bucks a month. Right for another thirty. Would you pay a seventy month, bucks a month to hear us just to hear the song? Yeah, and I'd like seventy bucks on fire just to hear the song. These, thank you. These motherfuckers, no, sorry, but these motherfuckers better. They, you know how lucky they are that so your lucky. harmonica music isn't here. Imagine those right. tears, Eddie. We used to give that We're away for nothing. Triple digit tier. Triple digit tier to hear Eddie harmonica. To hear Eddie the the. Mm. The Zam fear of harmonic. I know I don't the like fear of the harm. The, the I, yep, I know. I know you don't like praise, and I don't know if don't. any music praise gets higher than saying you're the Zam fear of any kind of instrument. Which right? is weird because Zam fear modeled a lot of what he did off of me. His pan flute playing is he saw you playing the harmonica right. one time. So you're and almost he... saying I'm the Eddie of. The harmonica. In a way. In a wedding. Is it? Okay, look, I know you don't like talking about this, but is it true that Zamfir saw you play the harmonica? And at the time, he was like like an accountant. And he was like, no musical talent. No. I think I need to play music. And then he picked up a harmonica. And I, here's the legend that I heard, Eddie. Okay. Okay. Is that, and this is probably, you know, this is like how did McCartney and Lennon meet kind of a thing. Sure. But the sure, lore sure. that I heard, and you please correct me if I'm wrong. I will. But yeah, the lore that I heard was that you, he was trying the harmonica. Uh-huh. And he was so bad that he, he couldn't, he wasn't like you. Well. Yeah. That you found him, he was about to jump off a bridge. And you gave yeah. him a pan flute. Well, it wasn't a like, bridge. It was the top of a building. It was the building oh that he was an accountant God. in. He was, it was, oh he was working at the time. Yeah. Wow. And how did you know? How did you, were you just, were you doing a private well, gig min- at that place? Or what, like what? How no, what that- I'll, I'll do is sometimes I'll just go to office buildings. And I know those people right. need some joiner list. So I'll just sure. randomly start playing sure. the harmonica for people. Wow. And he happened to be wow. in one of the cubicles of the office yep. I was in. Right. Oh, uh, And then that's and when he, he was like, I'm going to kill myself. I can't compete. Well, he came up. He's like, I really want to learn to play. I'm like, I don't know if yeah. you want to touch the harp. I don't know if you want to go there. <laughs> right. Um, but he seemed he seemed so enthusiastic about it. I was like, okay. And then he started to All play. Right, and he realized. James. Right. After he hit the first note, I was like, <laughs> and he, I could see it in his face. I could see, I could see he broke, and he he was, right. he just he handed me the harp. And he headed up the fire escape. And I'm like, all right, well, I've seen this before. I've seen this before. That's how oh, I knew. If you had a dime. The, the countless, countless lives lost because I didn't go after them on the fire escape. Are you going to get mad if I start, if I go a little deeper? Sony, please finish the Zamfir story. And then please well, don't I, get I, mad I, at I, me. <clears throat> Well, he went up the fire escape, and I was like, you know what? No more. Not one more. That was my mantra. Not one more. <laughs> Because I didn't want one more person to kill themselves because they couldn't do what I do. So I was like, not one more. Yeah. I followed him up there. I'm like, hey, yeah. Zamps. Yep, Zamps. Uh, Zampy. Zamps. I called Zamps. him Zampy. I called him Zampy. Zampy. Zamps. Zamps. And, uh, Zamps. He was literally one foot off the ledge, right? Oh and I God. grabbed him by the back of the collar. Yeah, and I sure. just I just sure. happened to have a pan flute in my back pocket. Wow. Well, because I like boba, and like sometimes I'll break a piece off, and <laughs> right. it's a good boba straw. And you were a little bored with the pan flute I at was that a, point, a little bit. And I, so I just took the pan flute and I shoved right. it in his mouth. I'm like, suck on there that for go. a while, Zampy. There you go. Wow. And, and then rest is history. That, rest is history. Rest is it. Now I'm sorry to keep doing this. I know you don't like this. Okay. But you're the reason Eddie Van Halen played the guitar, right? That was Eddie, Eddie okay. Van Halen yeah. was another very, one of those. Very, Right, similar story. He wasn't an yeah, accountant. Right. He was a mechanic. There it is. That's what mechanic. I, okay. Yeah, he was. Okay. He liked working Look under the cars, this. and I I right. met him because I was getting my car worked on. Yeah, you just uh, playing while he was tuning it up and stuff. Just yeah. Playing. He worked at he worked at Midas right. at one of those Midas oil right. change places. Right. right. Sure. Sure. And I'm there. I'm getting my oil. I'm just waiting, you know. And I just when I get bored, I'll just I'll tittle around on the harp for a little bit. And uh, he came in out of the weigh room just covered in grease he's like hey what do you, what is that he heard it from the car 
and uh, right. it's the harmonica. Right. And he's like, you mind if I try? And wow. He took it upon himself to put Uh-oh. a harmonica in his mouth. Oh, he blew it. No. I could see him break. He you started to walk it. into traffic, and I was like, again, not <laughs> hey, one more. That's my mantra. Hey, right. Not one more. <laughs> right, right. I grabbed him, and we walked across the street to a to a guitar center, and right. I was like, try that. Try wow. the guitar. Wow. See what happens. Look at this. Eddie, Eddie just, man. That's... So if now, you call me the Eddie Van Halen of the harmonica, you're basically calling me the Eddie Pence of the of harmonica. The, right out. And Eddie Van Halen yeah, and, is the Eddie Pence of the guitar. This is a side story, really, like, here, here and there, but yeah, his actual name right. is Lou Van Halen. His name is Lou, Lou Van Halen. <laughs> he changed it. He and was he so inspired. In honor of me. So I, not incredible. a lot of people know that. Not wow. a lot of people know Look that. At but this. Look at yeah, this. The harmonica king, Eddie. Yeah. Is just... Now, yeah. Jim Morrison and Janis Joplin, you couldn't get to in time. I know you don't like talking about no. that, but that that's... No. I mean, they're they're yep. they're real reason, you know. Not one more. That's right. kind of you know, what I live it by was now. kind of them. It was Morrison kind of and, and Joplin. Kind of them. like okay, I've yeah, right. It's man, you know. Uh, and there's you know there's a conspiracy around Lennon and what happened there too. So we don't want to go. Right. I don't want to. I don't want to dig into what happened so much. To John Lennon. Uh, it's it, right, it's not the story you know. Right. Oh wow, wow. Not wow. one more. Wow. No, are we? Are, just, are it's we? Not the story. You, it's not the story you've been told. I should say. Are we? Are we about to get Prince's opium dealer off the hook here too? Is that? Was? Is that? I mean, is this? Well, I live in California, and I can't yeah. get. Yeah, I, I can't be everywhere. So I, I know. know. I know. Hey, by the way, Toby Keith. Toby Keith. Wow, I, that kind of had a feeling. <laughs> kind of had a feeling. You know. Now, you know, and you can email us ramble at the ramble pad. We're on Twitter at Podcast Ramble One, Instagram at Podcast Ramble, our YouTube page Ramble Teeb. We have our T Public merch page, and um, you know this is—I mean, God Almighty, so cool to hear this history and to be on sure. such a high from hearing your accomplishments. But uh, these fucking people, oh, these fucking people. Mm. We're mm. stuck at 143 five star. Dollum, Dollum still Dollum's on top. Still on top. And look, I ain't mad at Dollum. I ain't, I ain't mad, mad at but, Dollum. But Dollum did his job. Dollum did what Dollum's supposed Dollum to do. Dollum did his job. But my God, this is like I don't know. He's eliminated more than Kane at this point, right? With his yeah. run right now, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's an impressive run. It's not an all timer, but it's an impressive. Run. How many people are going over the top rope right now? It's just yeah. he's just sending them all over. It's. I don't know what to. I anyway. Thank it's you, Gollum. It's sad. But, but to yeah. make it less sad, subscribe to the Ramble. Five star rating. Positive text review. Sure. There it is. Sure. Then Spread you'll the get your you'll get your bling. You'll get your right. that that right there. You get that Ramble yeah. bling, and that's what matters. Mm-hmm. So do all of that good shit. Um, Eddie, I think I might have sprung this on you because I what? Well, at our pre, our, 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 our we were at um. The what's the big Wolfgang Puck place in Beverly Hills where we always meet before the anyway? Oh God, I was, is it Boa? Is it Boa? Is it Boa? Do we do well, a, you know, you know, we'll how do Boa Wolf, sometimes. You know how Wolfgang has to come out and talk. You know what I mean? Like he you know. can't just he has to. You know what? Out. I like I like eating there better when he's out of town. I know because when he, he's not there, to, he has, yeah. it's like you don't have to come out here and say, "Dude, go get mm. do your job, buddy." You know. <sighs> And we're not ready to add a new member to the Ramble, Buck. No. He's, so that, That's what he's driving at. I know you know. We that's can, what he's oh, driving at. yeah. Oh, God. Me, you, and Wolfgang. That's what he wants. <laughs> he wants Cody out. He wants Cody out. <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> but now I, we, we're going to do a segment, Eddie, here yeah. in the Ramble. Done dirty or the mm. right move? Okay. And... <laughs> You're gonna. This is like an improv game for you now. I'm springing this on you. I think. All right, let me have it. Because one thing you do know is, eventually, we're gonna settle the televangelist versus the TV psychics. That's coming up <laughs> in today's. <laughs> That's the big match at That's the end the of the match. at the end of the hour. Yeah. Done dirty or the okay. right move, and right. by I'm at, did the producers of different strokes. Mm-hmm. Do the original cast dirty 
by adding Sam or was it the right move? Um, I, I'm just going to be honest. I think it had to be done. I think they were hearing right, the footsteps sure. from Webster. You know what I mean? Like they were, it was, they, it, they, the cute factor. Cause at this point, Arnold was just kind of looking like a very short 40 year old. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was kind of getting yeah. the, the, what you're talking kinda, about. Wasn't carrying the same knockout blow. It, it used didn't to. have <laughs> Didn't, the what you talk about didn't get the applause sign to the turn on. The what you talk about, Willis, didn't. <laughs> they needed to turn on the applause sign. Right. Used to be he would just say it, and there, there, boom. Biggest crush, <laughs> biggest pop in TV history. But it, it, it was just laying there. It was just laying there. <laughs> they had to put the applause sign. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine what and, you talk about with us? Cricket. Cricket. Bombs. <laughs> Just bombs. But that's, I mean, I'm assuming that must have happened a few times or else we wouldn't have gotten Sam. Right. I like, don't he know. He still but, knocking out of the park with that what you're talking about. We don't I know who know, Sam we, is. Sam, Sam, we don't care about Sam. Sam who? <laughs> so what do you think? Was the original cast done dirty or was Sam the right move? Well, you see what I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to... You 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 pick the side of it was the right move, and I, I, I can see your argument. I think it was. I think it the, was. The, the cute little kid ages out. You got to bring in a new cute little kid. They've, and, they've done it time and again on every <laughs> sitcom. And once Dudley got boinked, he just what do you do with the best friend? You don't touch Dudley anymore. He's not cute anymore. He's damaged <laughs> it, goods at this point. He's he's damaged goods. <laughs> Dudley's they did that should be the done dirty or had to be done. Poor Dudley's career. The Dudley arc. Because <laughs> he had a fun little sidekick role there for a little while. <laughs> and I then they just, did him dirty. Imagine if Grady from Sanford and Son just got molested in an episode. Like, wait, what? I mean, you're talking about, yeah, talking about being done dirty. It was Dudley that got done dirty. Dudley was just sweet, innocent Dudley. Just... Yeah. Even the name Dudley. You don't even think <laughs> dirty thoughts with the name like, Dudley. Uh, this kid's getting fucked. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <That's happening. laughs> it was like a Lance or a, a Zach. Oh, yeah, that guy gets doinked, right? No, but Dudley? Dudley. Me... Anyway, so I'm going to take the part of uh, they did the cast dirty by bringing Sam in. Mm. Okay, and please, please. I will elaborate because... The whole basis of the show was this: this, yep. these poor two, these two African American kids that didn't have a home, coming from basically the, you know, lower class, the hood, you know, the hood, being adopted into the penthouse to the of pen this rich And now you're just gonna get some fucking rich white kid already. And now he goes, the Mister, uh, what's his face, uh, the dad, uh, what's what was his name, Mister, uh, who's the dad, and who's the dad. Mr. Drummond and Mr. Drummond. Mr. Drummond goes and gets married, right? And I to another rich, he, to a rich white lady, a white chick. Yeah, and then she and then she brings Sam. her little kid Sam. So now it just become right. okay. So the whole plot of the show is gone. It's all gone at that it's, point. So it's a different show. But I, he kept him alive for like two years, Sam. But what did he keep alive? He didn't keep alive different strokes. The whole no, thing is different strokes. It's got you. You got this, this. These two little black kids from the hood with in right. the, living in a penthouse. It's different strokes. How now? MAGA. You just have one, one. You have you have country, you have southern money coming in, moving in That's with right. uh, Wall Street money. That's right. That's true. That's true. That's a different MAGA show, is man. Sam now. How MAGA is Sam now, dude? Sam the how MAGA? He's probably is the guy Sam. that acts like uh, JFK Jr. at the MAGA rally. <laughs> well, thankfully, the actor who played Dudley is still with us. And, done dirty, uh, man. He Dudley does got work. done dirty. So Dud, well, now that's a no question. Dudley no was question. absolutely. But I think they did the dirty. cast dirty because it changed the show. It wasn't the same show then. Yeah. Mm. See, I still now think... if Mr. Drummond went back down to the hood and found a found a, a African American rat. woman, he found a an... hood rat to hook up. <laughs> <laughs> he brought that hood rat up. Married if, her, then you don't even you have just, to be a hood rat. Jack Hay from two two seven. That's that's all you need. And now you now you've just you've recycled the show and you're going again. Right. Same <laughs> plot. 
That's true. So you're saying instead of Sam, he just goes and gets him like like Rosie Perez from White Men Can't right. Jump. And they there you go. Married. Now you're bringing the Latino thing. Now we've right. moved on from African American. We're going Latino. We have the Latino and the African American family with the rich white. I man, that's true. He's just collecting minorities. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Drummond's just collecting minorities. That's the and show that's you want to see. Show. That's the show. That's the interesting show. Not him boinking some old rich white chick. Is that the title? Mr. Drummond collecting minorities is the show you want to see. I think so. <laughs> so let's hold so on. So if you me. ask me again, done dirty or had to be done, I say done dirty. And then uh, Dudley, no question. Dudley, I mean. From a character standpoint, just did that character dirty. Just did him dirty. They really just took just little ruined. innocent. That's they, like if Urkel got got fiddled with on Family Matters. He ruins it. Urkel's you ruin, done. You can't ever look Urkel's at Urkel done. again. <laughs> Urkel's done. <It's> over. <laughs> <laughs> who go okay, kick? Did God who did Dudley get Janetti worse than Janetti? Well, he might have. Different strokes might have put him through the plate glass window. They may I have. Mean, cause, boy, they wrote Janetti the fuck off within, what, a year after that happening? It was, uh, sorry, man. We we got nothing for you. Uh, Dudley, I don't know. Do we ever see him again? I don't even remember. Was Dudley even I don't remember any... seeing Dudley again. How G- can he Janetti had funny? a couple. Sh- right. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> I do think it's fascinating how the episode where Big Guy from WKRP molested Dudley, it just... It so, hangs so <laughs> deep just, over the po- the Ramble podcast. One of those things you just can't ever get out of your head. No, once you see it. Mr. Big. Put Mr. You're big, big in guy. Dudley. Big guy. You're in. <laughs> or big I mean, guy. It's, it's over. Big guy put big guy in it, Dudley. It's it, just... And I think it was kind of a little bit of a prep for Transformers the movie. Like, if we handled that, we could handle yeah. Optimus. Like, we, we were <laughs> able to handle what happened to Optimus. I mean, could you imagine seeing op- seeing Transformers movie without the precursor of having Dudley getting boinked it, by Big Guy? It, 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 <laughs> I don't know if we could have handled it. I don't think we could have. I think it would have been too much. We could have handled Soundwave making all these tapes go fuck Daniel in front of Spike. We could have handled that after. At that point, give us anything. <laughs> we could have handled Dudley. Rumble, Ravage, Red Bad Frenzy. Fuck that little kid. There. Rumble's just like go, 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 just fucking tearing his a hole apart. <laughs> Laser Beak is just holding spikes. He can't fucking do it. And fucking Rumble's just go, 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 go. But we we could have been like, hey, all right, shit happens. We would have shit happens, been, man. We would have big guy fucked Dudley. Shit happens. Big guy fucked Dudley. Man, shit. <laughs> Some shit goes down. What are you gonna do? That's life, man. That's life. Some shit goes down in life that you don't want. <laughs> That's life. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the talk Ultra Magnus has to give Daniel once they get out of that situation. Listen, Daniel. Look, some things, things happen. I don't have time to, to worry about this right now. All right. I have other that's things on the That's when he pulls out the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, this is our darkest hour. We gotta light this motherfucker real quick. <laughs> he rumbles fucking the shit out of him. We got, we gotta stop this. We gotta fucking. It... <laughs> the Matrix is like, nah, not the darkest nope. hour, guys. We're I've gonna seen worse. A... I've, I've seen, seen a... I've seen big guy fuck Dudley. We're not opening this shit up. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Uh, Springer's a little into it. A little bit. Springer a little bit into it. Springer. (laughs) He's asking for more. Springer's is the last one in to help. (laughs) 
Oh fuck. What oh. is what is episode? I don't know where we go from here. It's took a it's woo. Oh. <laughs> Big guy Boinkin Dudley prepped us for a prime dying. Preps for prime dying. And it would and again, Transformers could have even gone worse. Had <laughs> they Yeah. Megatron. Darkest hour. All the all the cassettes have come. It's time to leave. And Megatron's like, I haven't come yet, you idiot. <laughs> Keep fucking him. Keep fucking. I haven't come yet. <laughs> oh, God. Again, I would not be surprised if that was in one of the first drafts of the screenplay. I don't know how you don't start there. Yeah, right. You're right. Look a Transformers at... movie. Like, yeah, look. <laughs> that should be the opening scene. We introduce a cute kid. Some shit's going to go down in act two, though. It's, uh... <laughs> oh, my God. Well, Eddie. Oh, are you ready? Yeah. The War Games ring is ready. It's all set to go. Both both rings been put together. Both rings cages are over both. Together. The cage is over. All right. So I'm thinking. So we have the psychics of Dion Warwick, Philip Michael Thomas, Miss Cleo, and Shirley MacLaine. That's who's gonna sure. rep. Okay. All right, now the preachers, we got Stuart Copeland, Swagger Baker, and Joel Olstein. Him and Tilton are gone after that last match. Yeah. Not much. They're not in any shape to compete. Yeah. No, no. And I think it's Philip Michael Thomas and Copeland start. They begin okay. the war games, right? And Be again, sure. you know, because I know it's just one fall, but you can pin them all you want in the beginning and it won't count, right? Everyone right. has to be in. So yeah. it's, you know, so they're all, they're just, Copeland and Thomas are just trying to work each other over enough to, you know, try to get one of them tenderized, right? Yeah. It's pretty Loosen, yeah. Work one over. Yeah. Get one roughed up a little bit, ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Then um, I think the advantage went to Christ. So then Swagger comes out next. Oh. Swagger comes out next. And then, then Dion Warwick. Hmm. Okay. You liking okay. this so far? I like this. Good matchups. All right, then we get uh, Jim Baker and Shirley MacLaine <laughs> are the next ones. There's an obvious strength advantage on one side of this team, on one side of this ring, right? Like there's. Oh, it's there's coming. Obviously... Okay. It's coming. The strength advantage is you think it's Philip Michael Thomas right now, right. and he is. Right. But the powerhouse is yet. That's the last one. The biggest pop. You get Joel Osteen and Joel Osteen and of course Miss Cleo. The pop Ooh. for Miss Cleo, <laughs> huge. Is huge, huge. If you thought Philip Michael Thomas was the powerhouse, I Miss Cleo is just power slamming every just boom, just power slam <laughs> after power slam after power. Does Don slam. Johnson drive Philip Michael Thomas out in a convertible to the ring? Oh, he is the first one in, so yes, I do like this. You hear the I can do it coming in the air tonight, oh Lord. And then <laughs> now, <laughs> with a boom. And then I think now everyone is trying to stop Cleo, right? Sure. And during this moment. Eddie, she's the Andre of the team. She's the one you gotta, you gotta focus no on. No question. The no question. She's almost the almost do it. I think while they're focusing on her, and like, uh, what's his face? Um, uh, what's his nuts? Um, Stuart Copeland. He's yeah. just like, like this, like scared of Miss Cleo. He's just those. Uh, and then Dion Warwick, sleeper, right from behind, <laughs> and Copeland's going like he's about. <laughs> He's about to lose it. And then when the ref drops the arm for the second one, he right. lifts up for the third. Olstein takes out Warwick's knee. He just oh. rolls in, takes out the knee. And then I think they all start kind of working. Olstein Olstein and and Copeland start right. working Dion's knee, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um 
then here's what I here's what I think happens. Then Swaggered okay. and Baker, they spike pile drive Philip Michael Thomas. Okay. He's gone. He's out. <laughs> He's, well, He's and that's oh, it, and it's over. It's over. And Baker pins him, and right at two and a half, Shirley McLean elbow drops out of nowhere on top of Baker to say, like, one of those. How did Shirley McLean dig deep enough, right? Because right. she was she was all bloodied she's, in the corner. Of the she's bloodied and battered. Sure, she'd been worked over, and she's able to just do a diving elbow, ends it, and then. Miss Cleo's just ready, but then Copeland hits her with the low blow. Oh, <clears throat> and this is where it hurts. This is where it's going to hurt. Copeland then, after hitting Miss Cleo with the low blow, he mm -hmm. jumps out of the cage. Oh no! And Cleo chases him. Oh no! So she goes and so they lose. Copeland, the preachers don't care. They can no. give or take that guy. But Copeland did his job. Mission it accomplished. Takes sure. Cleo's out. Cleo, there she's gone. She's chasing him, and then while she's gone, a hobbled. I mean, TG, TD Jakes comes in with a hobbled Benny Hinn, and they go to the ring and they start throwing <laughs> ceremonial salt oh, on no. all the psychics. And so, Philip, Michael Thomas, and Dion Warwick are just cowering, and then that's when they all work over McLean. They're <sighs> just. <it's, laughs> But then the problem here, Eddie, is yeah. they're getting too cocky while working her over. They're not just going for the kill. They're sure. just doing each guy is just trading off doing their finishers on Shirley McLean. Just each one. They're they're indulging themselves. Yes. They're indulging themselves. And I mean, Thomas and Warwick are just on the They're they're, they're giving her the passion of the Christ treatment. They, exactly. They take That's out what the they're <laughs> They're making her carry a cross. They They're giving her the passion of the, the passion, passion of the Christ. Of the Christ -er. <laughs> That's their getting, finisher. Is the passion? She's of getting the passion, of, and it's over. Like she's just ready to just collapse. And then Eddie, you hear the glass break. Oh, and then a massive pop, and from the audience comes out. You ready for this? You ready for this yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Long Island medium herself. <laughs> she comes, but now the only the only issue with the presentation is all the evangelists, like she, as the Long Island medium is walking to the ring, like all yeah. the fans are high fiving her. She has to stop and tell each one of them what right. how, what their grandma's up to, or you know, like what their great aunt. It's taking her a doing. while to get down there. So all the evangelists have to just hold this shock look for about 15 minutes. <laughs> then, Giving Shirley McLean enough time to get over this passion treatment that she just got. So you ready for this? So then uh -huh. the televangelist, once a Long Island medium gets close enough, three of them climb out to try to get okay. her. And that's when McLean gets up and hits Olstein with the cross. OK, oh. <laughs> and what nobody realized, Eddie, is Miss Cleo made her way back to the ring during all this a lot of blood on her. No one knows. Sure. what happened. We don't to know Stuart what Copeland. happened. <laughs> we don't know what happened to Copeland. A lot of blood <laughs> on her. But the other two evangelists go after the Long Island medium. McLean hits Olstein with the cross. And as he is, as he's staggering, he lands right in Cleo's arms. Power bomb. One, Done. two, three. The psychics take it. That's now. Can I can I just tweak the ending for a sec? I, I, I love everything up until course. the end. I just all right. Tweak I'm, the ending. Yes, go please. So what happens is, <clears throat> it's all good. Shirley Quain pops him with the cross, right? Right. Miss Cleo's right. in the ring. Yes. But has she is focusing on? Uh, Olst is it Olstein? Is that Joel Olstein's the, the only one left? He got yeah, hit with the cross. He hit, he's yeah. stumbling back into. Get, he's, right. And Miss Cleo, you can see she's, she's getting ready. She's getting ready, right? Right. <laughs> and um. Uh, who's the one of the one of the one of the guys that went to go get uh the Long Island medium? What's one of their names? Uh, well, Copeland's already gone, so the only so Copeland's we have dead, the, apparently. the 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 illegal <laughs> members are TD Jakes and okay. uh okay and a hobble TD Benny Jakes, Hinn, but we also have a healthy Baker and Swagger. Okay, so Baker and Swagger have snuck back <laughs> yeah. into the ring. They're behind Miss Cleo. Oh no. oh no, both of them. Oh no, yeah. 
They've got they've got collection plates, right? Both of them oh, have collection no. plates. Getting ready to work her over the head, right? Miss Cleo, not even not just keeping her attention on Olstein, <laughs> right? Doesn't even look back. Just elbows both of them in the face and knocks them out because she used her psychic powers, <laughs> knowing they're both behind her. <laughs> it was like she just elbows both of them in the face. She stone cold suns both of them at the same time, and ah! then takes out. Then Olstein. power bombs Olstein. Then power know. bombs Olstein. She used her psychic powers right at the end. And how big is the pop when they win and you hear da 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 and keep smiling, <laughs> keep shining, keep shining. Knowing you. Yeah, I th- I love it. I do, but I do have the psychics winning this one. I think yeah, I do too. Well, they can the see the future. They can see the future. <laughs> <laughs> they know what happens. Do I want to know what happened to Copeland? Do we want to know? I don't think know? you do. I don't think you do. Do we even want to know what happened to poor Stuart Copeland? We don't, we don't want to know. Is it Stuart Copeland? That's, that's a guy from the police. Who's Miss Cleo does some of that, can do some of that, you know, <laughs> some of that black magic we don't want to talk about. <laughs> Wait, is it Kenneth Copeland? Stuart Kenneth Copeland's Copeland? a guy from the police. <laughs> He's the driver. Oh, either way. Either Kenneth one. Copeland. I was getting a either one. Kenneth. <laughs> Give me one moment. Let me close the office door. That oh, Marley sure. Fucking so rudely open. It also gives our listeners time to Corporate. recharge after such a, such a, just senses shattering battle we gave them. Just yeah, we we need to we need to rest and recollect our yes, humanity after right. such a horrific display <clears throat> of brutality. Do you think for our next battle, should it should we just get it out of the way? <laughs> should it be Arnold versus Webster? Maybe, and maybe Sam is the special guest referee, <laughs> or Rudy. You don't know. Maybe Rudy. You don't know who's. You don't know whose side Sam's on, really. That's true. He kind of ruined Arnold's mojo. So, do we? Is it Arnold Webster next? Is that? I think they might have to do Arnold Webster. I don't. In I a just Texas don't strap know. match or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> They're just tied to each other. I just don't know who's who. If George Papadopoulos gets his way to the ring, who's stopping? Who's Mr. Stopping Drummond's him? not. I know that. Mr. Mr. Drummond's Mr. not. Stopping George, George, Georgie thing. P. He ain't doing a fucking thing to Georgie P. But I know Arnold's already had a few. He's had a few matches. So I don't know if we want to. But maybe, maybe by this point, Arnold has been brought into the big guy's stable. Oh. And now the oh. big guy, he's oh. at he's at ringside with. <laughs> He's got Arnold and Dudley in his stable now, and he just can't wait to molest Webster. He's <laughs> and he's—they're all trying to like recruit Webster into the stable, <laughs> much like the, the corporate ministry. <laughs> it's just a bike stand next to the ring. It's the bike shop next to the ring. Oh <laughs> fuck! We he's might just do collecting. That. He's yeah, just collecting. Just collecting kids, man. Just collecting, man. Oh, brutal. Now it's time, Eddie, for our final segment of the evening. Sure. We're going to go deep. Okay. On, I know we've already gone deep on Commando. Yeah. Is this one better? That's my first question. Okay. And that's the running man. Better than Commando. Is it better than Commando? Led? We don't have to answer that. But okay. I think it deserves... I think it deserves a seat at that table. The Running Man. I think so too. I think I think you yeah, I could you could put it at that table for sure. I think let's go deep on The Running Man. Based on okay. a Stephen King short story that goes way different <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> and he wrote it under a pseudonym, pseudonym, right? Richard Bachman. Use... Yeah. Yep, under <clears throat> Richard Bachman. And it's um it's very much the original Running Man kind of pre and this movie too kind of predates what will eventually be. Hey, let's just watch people get killed on TV. Yeah, like that's you know what's where we're headed, right? Like it let's seems to be it. we're we're not there now, but we're pointing in that direction, right? Let's just go. How about a reality show where people actually die? Yeah, like that's where we're getting, and that's and they both. They both go there in that way. And I think one of the things, though, that makes the Running Man film so interesting is that Dawson 
is believable and holds you as the fucking villain for Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger. Yeah. I mean, uh, you thought it was enough of a contrast. I believe Terminator 2 had still not happened yet, right? I think running that no, was before no, no, T2. No. So yeah, yeah. I, I think even more jarring than seeing the like uh, had less than a uh, had like a hundred pounds on Robert Patrick, right? In Terminator two, right. and he was still getting his ass kicked. Right. Physically, that was in, fascinating to see in Terminator two, right? Yeah. Like, but I thought it was fascinating to, to the guy that has Schwarzenegger's number is Richard Dawson, and he's well, Dawson great in it. He's not the he's not the muscle. He's the mastermind, and he's, he's sending mastermind. out the muscle to stop. Right. He's, he's like I have muscle. He's the man. He's fucking Ronnie Cox in fucking RoboCop. You know, yeah. it's just that's who he is. And he was, man, he was so good. And we've already talked about this, but this was, you know, at the point that Running Man came out, I think Schwarzenegger might have been contractually obligated to have to say, "I'll be back." in every fucking <laughs> movie, right? Like it was just. I think he had to say it. And like we've already talked about, man, the best comeback ever. Commando, that's Running Man definitely wins in the better comeback. Oh, for sure. Because <clears throat> Commandos sure. is is uh Bennett going, Yeah, John, I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. And it's like, eh. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll be back, Bennett. Yeah, John, I'll be waiting. Yeah. That and you and now the good thing is the actor who played Bennett, you see fear in his eyes. He doesn't yeah. believe what he's saying. Right. That was cool. Is you could tell he's he's saying this to just psych himself up. Yeah. He knows he's in trouble. He knows he has to and, say something <coughs> after Arnold says I'll be after back. After Arnold says yes. He's gotta say something. And then the but my God, no one was colder, more confident. Then Dawson just going. Didn't only even in blink. Didn't even blink. Only in a rerun. Just puts only him in the machine. Rerun. Only in reruns, pal. Then fucking closes and sends him into the game. Like I've seen I your mean... guys. I've seen guys like you come and go. There's no big deal. Ain't nobody coming out of this. No right. one has. No one will. This is art entertainment. This is what we do. And Dawson, he look. It's not Hans Gruber, but I think he's in that. He's up there. For '80s action villains, now I Dude, think and Hans as great Gruber as uh, is number one Hans, but Hans, as great as great, Hans, could you imagine Dawson in the role of Hans Gruber? He could, he could have done and it. Die Hard, he could have done it. Oh, dude. he could have fucking done it. Dawson could have fucking done it, dude. He was, oh, he could have definitely I done. Mean, it. Maybe not with the accent, but he could have done it. He would have been like, no, I'm an exceptional thief. Like he would have been so fucking, <laughs> yeah. oh, but he. He was fucking perfect, and I think the the villain carries the running man. I mean, let's talk about how funny, legitimately funny, Jesse the Body was as the fitness instructor. Guy. Yeah, that he was fucking hilarious with yeah. the wig, that stupid wig he had, and I mean, it was great. It was uh, Maria Conchita Alonso was a great female lead. A great, I mean, you know, like she was like tough too. Like it was. The well, perfect the great, person to have with him in that game was her, right? The great and thing then, about, yeah. No, the, the great thing about <clears throat> Running Man sets Running Man apart from all other Schwarzenegger movies is it's it's his most cunning, most it's his be, deep, most devious villain he's ever he's ever faced. I mean, you can look at the Predator, but the Predator you don't know who the Predator is. It's just this faceless creature is, in the in the jungle. All the Predator is is just a hunter. It's yeah. so if you're going to say the predator's evil, then every fucking dude who camos up on the weekend and goes, they're just yeah. as fucking evil because that's He's all the predator was hunting. doing. And and the predator was also taking it easy on innocence. Anyone who yeah. didn't have a weapon, he didn't bother. Dawson. This was like, nope, this is what sells. He's Getting a people killed on TV is paying my bills. He's and a I'm pure sociopath. Contend, right. Yeah. And I have no problem running this business. Like Bennett I, was like revenge and money and like. Right. It was. Right. But Dawson was. It was pure sociopath. Just. He didn't this. care. I don't care. I mean, man. And even faking the winners and their good lives and all that shit. Yeah. Just to cool, con people. I mean, yes, it is very, very silly 
like the Sub Zero guy and the electricity guy that he has to fight along the way. The chainsaw. Yeah, but guy. that's what that's what you watch on reality television right. now, anyway. Exactly. Exactly. It, it. It. I really think Running Man belongs with RoboCop as societal parodies. That oh, for sure. That for the, sure. like RoboCop is finally is more recently being seen for what it was, which was we're just, catching up to RoboCop. We really are. And Running Man, I think, does the same fucking thing. The Running Man, it it is the same, like... And I remember there was even that line that I thought was absurd as a kid, but now you're like, remember when when they're at the pay... at the? I think it was either Running Man. I don't think it was Total Recall. I think it was Running Man. When they're at a vending machine, like, oh, my God, $6 for a Coke. Right. Like, that, I think that was Running Man. I think that was Running Man. It was like, I mean, God, Running Man... $6 for <laughs> Like, a Coke? if you look at RoboCop, is like, that sort of predicted the future of corporations in America and right. law enforcement right. and the separation between wealth and poverty. Like yeah. that's, that was right. a societal statement. Right. Um, uh, Running Man is literally is for, foretelling what our, the future of entertainment is, the yeah. future of television, the way we ingest media and, and what we seek out for entertainment. And it's, it's, it's crazy. And it does it brilliantly. It did it brilliantly. brilliantly. I, I'm, I really think that needs... Like yes, it's very cheesy, but I think all the all the campiness, the cheesiness, is done on purpose because then you also have just ultra violence mixed into the yeah. weird cheesy shit. Like remember how the audience members like genuinely like freak out when all those gladiator guys get killed by Schwarzenegger? They're like yeah. bummed out, and then Dawson has to just like, okay, fuck it, show must go on. Like <laughs> it. Oh man. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm I I. Ooh, it's. I'm gonna. It's up there, man. Shawshank Redemption, The Shining. Is Running Man Stand by Me? Is Running Man in your top five Stephen King adaptations? Filmed. It might, I, I mean, literally, if if you had done that movie without the campiness and the ultra violence to make it sort of an action movie, I don't know if you remember it the way you probably we don't. remember it today. You, no, not no, 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 not like it is. Now. And only and, and yeah. only in through remembering that movie do we realize the message it was telling. Yes, how fascinating! It, I mean, it was. Oh God, it, I gotta watch that again. We gotta make Cody watch that fucking thing. That should be his funny, first man. assignment. Is your comeback? You got to watch Running Robocop Man. Robocop and uh, Running Man need to. And then we trade. Then we trade Robocop Good and Willow Running Hunting. Man. We Good Willow Hunting, Robocop and Running Man. I'm in. <laughs> I'm fucking in. <clears throat> well, my God, what a ramble, Eddie. I, mm. man, ramble 384, Mr. Drumming, Collecting Minorities is the show you want to see. <laughs> <laughs> Next, uh, ramble 385. Um, we don't know 100% yet. Do we do a, a battle? I know we definitely are going to do Gumble Love. Should sure, we do another Done Dirty? I enjoyed the Done Dirty. I enjoyed Who the could dirty. it be? Who What, what Done Dirty or the right move uh -huh. could we throw out there? Do we surprise mm. the Ramblers you with could this? Surprise me again. I enjoyed that. Oh, okay, fuck it. All right, yeah. we're going to do Done Dirty. We're going to do Gumble Love. We'll probably do a Super Nintendo game. Wide open. Wide yeah. open. Come back. This is, an this is worth $400 a series. month in Patreon. Please. How is it not? All right, thank you for tuning in. You know where to find us. You know where to love us. We will see you Friday for a Ramble Radio. Until then, <laughs> adios a todos.